All right, I've changed my setup just a bit. Uh, what I've done is I've well, I've kept the same on uh, on the Welltop, but I still have the HP 30 upgrade on them. Um, the Vierge I took off the E circuit here, and I g gave her the Ether AR because that we need more defense. And then the Ether AR plus one I put on the Anvari. Let's go ahead and go through the door. And who? do we have over here? Is this the third gate? Huh? Who are you? Who is that? You have eyebrow wings. I will kill you. How do you do? I am a Rattan, one of the followers of Krellian. Please excuse me. I'd like to show you my face, but as a result of the human-machine fusion... A follower of Krellian? Not Ramses or the Element? Our current task is totally about inspection of the evidence. It'll ruin everything as someone as dead to the world as he appeared here. A person who's calm and cool like myself would be perfect for the job. You have crazy eyes, though. Oh, but don't worry! I'll just be inspecting here. Emeralda here will take care of you. She doesn't have arms. Kill. You. And it's boss time! This time up against Elmeralda in her gear, which we don't have a name for. It's the Crescents. That's how I'm gonna say Crescents. Alright. Uh, booster. Because it's a boss fight. Alright. Um, I'm gonna just go for regular attacks with Ellie for now. If I could hit her. There we go. Getting some attacks in. Alright, I'm going to test with the Anvari see if uh see if I can get the level two death the level one death blows with the Damn it! Faye! Stop getting hit. I got you the magnetic coach for a reason. And you're not showing that off right now. Alright, can I... Okay, you cannot do, uh... Cannot do the level 1 death blows. You have to go up to level 2. That's fine. Uh-oh. That's her ether attack, and it does 1,778. Thanks to that ether AR plus 1. Alright, let's take a look at Dead Cannon! 2700 damage in. Nice. Uh, yeah. Oh, we have to level 3 s since she appears to be worthless as a physical attacker right now. And then we'll just do that once and then we'll switch to the air rods and probably take her off uh, off the booster. Damn, Emeralda is strong. Hi, Diva! Didn't miss that time. Just pound her while she's on the ground. 2200 damage in. Another thousand damage, jeez. Missed again. She has very, very high evade. And unfortunately, Wild Smile does not work on her. So, yeah, this is not an easy fight. Uh, Alright, let's get her off of Booster. She's done with Booster. This is, I mean, it's it can be easy if you hit her, but since I'm not doing that very often... Magnetic coats on Faye are definitely help, helping out with that, but it's not helping his defense right now. Not at all. Dead cannon! There we go. Uh-oh. She's crouched over. Does that mean it's over? Not yet. Very close. Will Rapu win it for me? Another 1300! Is enough for the win. Down goes Almirada. That wasn't as hard as I remember this fight being. Oh, I remember that being so tough. All right, so we have Faye level up, Ellie level up, Bart level up. We got 10,000 G. Nobody learned anything, but level ups are always appreciated. You are gone, Emeralda. Kit. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> I. I see. Reckless. Now that. 
You should view it as a release of memory, or maybe a recording. It turned out just as Krellian said. It is a manifestation of the imprinting. At any rate, it is proven with that. Excuse me. I must report the results. Oh, yes. Go ahead and take the girl. Use her any way you like. After all, she is your daughter. What? Faye, Ellie, is there something you guys want to tell me? Uh oh. What? What happened? And down goes generator number three! Leaving only the one in Solaris. So wait, Emeralda... The Emeralda joined the party! Yay! Another kid. Kim! Kim! Who's Kim? Let's see. What the hell is it saying? That's a good question. Does Faye resemble someone you know? What do you mean by resemble? Kim is Kim. Kim? The person resembling Faye, right? Who is he? Is he the one that created you? What do you mean by creating me? Kim is Kim. Don't you see? You're really here, Kim. I thought I was dreaming. The person in my dream. Yes, Kim. I was dreaming a long, long dream. Seems you resemble her, him. Someone important to her. Probably the person who created her. What? Hey, you. My name is Faye, not Kim. Now I know. Faye's Kim. Listen, listen. I was dreaming. A long, long dream. K Kim is fine. For her, Kim means more than just a name. More like father. Father? No, no. I mean, it has general meaning. Listen, listen, Kim. I was dreaming about really old times. Kim was much older, and I was in some clear tube. Kim was putting many candles on a soft white confection. I didn't know why he was doing that. But I sensed he was looking forward to me coming out of the tube. But soon everyone was gone. My body disappeared. And I was in somewhere dark for a long, long time. Please, promise you'll stay, face Kim. Uh, sure, yeah. W huh? Really? Really, really? Really. Don't bother me. Who is this old lady? <laughs> I'm talking to Kim. Old lady? Maybe I should bury her back on the ocean floor. Hey. Hey. Why don't you be her Kim? The Fay Kim. She turns it back in anger. How dare you defend the little girl that called me old? By the way, do you have a name? Oh no, you're cruel, Face Kim. It's me, Emeralda, Emeralda. Kim named me because I have emerald hair. Don't you remember? Okay, okay, Emeralda, right? Alright, Emeralda, I'll stay with you this time, I promise. Really? Really, truly? Yeah! Sweet! So, we get... Emeralda in our party! Can I get some victory music? N no. No, I cannot. I doubt Krallian acted on his own to use her as a disposable soldier. Some information existed in her which passed over to Krellian. Who knows what he will do next? We must find Solaris before that happens. Received a telegram from Shavat. Due to a weakening gate, the city that maybe Solaris has been discovered. Oh, don't tell me there's like a second city. What do you mean it might be Solaris? Perfect! Let's go back to Shafat for now! And... Are we just gonna automatically go there? Because hell if I know how to get to Shavat again. Uh oh. What? That doesn't look good. That must be Solaris. That looks like a final dungeon. I don't think it is, but it looks like one. 
Oh, snap. What? What am I looking at? Look up at the stars. So, like, Solaris is in, like, the Bermuda Circle? Like, how does nobody know that this place is here if it's just lying in the middle of the ocean? I still don't know what I'm looking at. Can you give me a little bit of a hint? Because I see Zeppelin right now. Yep, I'm gonna go with Zeppelin. Okay, maybe not. What the hell, game? Now I'm thinking laser beam of death. How the hell did we go from from blimp to, to laser beam? All that and uh, like that small little thing there, Solaris. I don't know what I'm looking at, game, but it looks awesome. Uh oh. It's locked into place. What does that mean? Something else locked. I'm scared. I didn't see it. What could it have been? I don't know. So we need to discuss everything. We are finally able to locate and see Solaris after destroying the three gates on the surface. However,. Unless we destroy the final main generator on the Solaris homeland, we cannot completely wipe out their gate! Maria, this is where you and Seventeen come in. Now that the gate is weakened, we can use Seventeen's heavy particle cannon to distort space and neutralize the gate for a brief moment. Upon penetrating into Solaris, it would be best to move about in small groups so that we do not attract attention. Well, if possible, I would like to... Yes, I can guide you. Through Solaris. I'll go too. I'm a little concerned if it's Ellie. I love Ellie. What are you? Wait, I didn't mean it like. Understood. Then Ellie Fay and I will move about together. Sweet. They're not giving me an option to pick my team. The rest will form a separate group to sneak in. All, what? Five of you? One, two, three. No, there's six. We have nine party members. Maria, it looks like you and Seventeen will wait outside on standby. Okay, so Maria's out, I guess. Well, let us break up for now. Once you are all ready, we should all meet here before we take off. Oh, is that, uh, Yui? It is Yui. How you doing, Yui? You're going, aren't you? To Solaris. Yes. I have chosen my own path. There is no turning back. You will be hurt. They will also be hurt. Indeed. But I could not find any other path to choose. If I happen to be overcome by the dark side. At that point, I have already... Don't say anything more. I already know. Now here. This is your... This is your sword? You've had a sword. Please, please come back alive. Then you too. Please take care of Midori. He had a sword. Now I'm pissed. You've been punching people for how long? I think I've been playing for over 40 hours. You've been punching people for 40 hours and you had a sword? <sighs> Listen, Hugo. I'm going to Solaris too. Don't misunderstand me. It doesn't mean I'll help you. I don't know what you're thinking or trying to do. But if you take their side, I'll kill you without a doubt, even from the back. Yes, I will be counting on that. Heh. <laughs> so discouraging. What? So... Wait. What's Bart doing here? You weren't in the plan, Bart. Get out of my party. But it looks like that's 
going to do it for these parts of Let's Play Xeno Gears. I've been Baller Scuba. Hope you have enjoyed these parts. Hope you laughed. Hope you learned. Hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.